I've got my mat laid out here. And I'm going to start by breathing. So I'm going to sweep my arms to the side, inhale, and exhale, come back down. This is all about pulling the lungs. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Big breath in. And out. Okay, so we're going to open the armpit and the ribs now. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Interlace your fingers. Just lean to the side. Now, if you have a back issue, then place the lower hand on your hip and use that so that you protect your lower back while we still get this beautiful opening to the side body. Nitambasana. Hold that there. Breathe three beautiful breaths in and out. With each exhalation, try to stretch further and in. And out. All right, inhale up. Let's go to the other side. Stretching and opening and again. Supporting your back with the lower hand if you need to. Breathe in. And out. And in. And out. Okay, on an inhalation, come up. Now, I'm going to ask you to be a warrior, my dear. So we're going to turn the outside foot and we're going to come with an exhalation of ha. Are you ready? So inhale, step to the side and ha. We are warriors, are we not? Notice what position I'm in here. Can you see how the chest is open? I am a valiant warrior. Notice how the groin and inner thigh is open, so blood and energy is now flooding through this area. So inhale, take your elbows back. Let's open the chest. Exhale, take those elbows further back. Inhale, further back still. And further still, exhale. Now, if you want to work harder, come lower. If you're feeling a little bit tired, lift up. Now we're going to turn. So put your gaze on your elbow and then take that elbow back, twisting. Hold it there. Neck is long, waist is long. Twist further. Further stop. And back, twisting, looking at your elbow. We're getting a twist through the spine as well as this flood of blood through the pelvis and belly. Legs are strong. Back to the center. Okay, push into your feet, straighten your legs. And we're going to stretch into the five-pointed star. So make a star with your hand and stretch and stretch. And then from your heart, stretch through the top of your head, through your fingers and through your feet. Open, belly, chest, throat. Exhale. And in and stretch. Hold it there, stretching. Let the breath out. Breathe in, stretch, and lower the arms down. Turn your feet, ready for the triangle pose. Shear and wheel. Legs are straight and strong. Push into the front foot, take the weight to the back foot. In. Draw the upper shoulder back. So feel the work that's happening here in the belly. Compression and stretching and twisting. And breathe. One more breath. Bend the leading knee, come up. So hands on the hips. Just turning in the same direction as your mats now. 
bend the leading knee, draw your hips back and your crown forwards. Neck is long, waist is long. Twisting now, twisted triangle. So I'm cheating with the knee bent, turning to look behind, lift the shoulder, lengthen through the waist and neck. So this is easy. If you want to do the full pose, then push and straighten that leg. Keep working the shoulder up. Big twist happening in the pelvis, compression on one side, opening on the other. Breathe. Looking up at the ceiling, drawing that shoulder back. And come down. Fingertips to the floor, we're going to come into a lunge. There's a few variations here, but notice this big opening in the groin on the trailing leg, big compression on the forward leg. Now, what we can do here is leave the hands on the hips or the hands on the knee if you're feeling like there's some issues in your lower back. Otherwise, lengthen through the lower back and open the belly. Lengthen the back of the chest and open the chest. Lengthen the back of your neck and look up. Sweep your arms wide and reach up. An opening of the chest and belly. An opening of your throat. Breathe. Breathe again. And exhale, come down. Okay, you're going to bring your fingertips towards me. Come on to your toes and you're going to squat on one side and straight leg on the other. Our intention is to stimulate the inner thigh and groin, easing into the back heel. We call this Indian dance, I suppose. I'm not sure it has a classical name. So here, breathe in. Feel the compression of the thigh against your belly and breathe. Again. All right, coming into a squat. I'm going to invite you to ease your heels down, take hold of your elbows and see if you can get heels and elbows to the floor. Take deep breaths in and feel the massaging effect deep in the pelvis. Massaging the ovaries and womb. Moving energy and blood with each breath. Okay. We're going to go back up the other side now. So springing to the other side, working once again into the inner thigh. Now, because time is short, I'm not going to linger in each pose, but it's basically the same pose, but coming up the other way. So you're going to pivot round. And I'm going to invite you to do three breaths in the lunge pose. Lifting and lengthening through the spine. And when you've completed that, tuck the back toe, and we're kind of going to come back to the twisted triangle. So hips facing forwards, opposite hand down, and lift the back shoulder. Well, you can bend the front knee if you want to, because it makes it easier. Keep lifting that shoulder. Feel the compression and opening in the groin. So once you've held that for three breaths, we come into the triangle pose. Big opening, chest, belly, spine has the twist and side bend. Three breaths there. Bend the leading knee and come back to your five-pointed star. Stretch, breathe in, exhale. Stretch, inhale, breathe in. Are you ready to be a goddess? 
a warrior. Breathe in and ha! Hold it there. Open the chest, open the shoulders, elbows back. Breathe in. Breathe out, go further. Breathe in, elbows further back. And further back. Okay, so again, we can then do the twist. But I'm going to invite you to just bounce a little with your knees and spring your feet back together again. And finish with the side bend Nitambasana. First to one side, and then to the other. Pause, hands together in prayer. Now I've skipped through the second half. Please take your time, three breaths in each pose. But in the space of 15 minutes, I wanted to show you first that really wonderful opening of chest, opening of pelvis. And then I want to come down to the floor and show you some of the posture work that I do to bring my body into its quietest. So coming down onto your knees. First of all, I want to teach you a breathing technique which I use all the time. It actually comes from Qigong. It is the water breath. It's a descending energy. So breathe in through your nose, purse your lips and blow the softest, smoothest, slowest exhalation you can. Like you're blowing a candle, but the flame is not going to flicker. Okay, so let me just show you one. Breathe in, purse your lips and blow. Breathe in when you need to. And blow. And pause a moment. So this is the water breath. It is a descending, cooling, calming breath. So for any woman who's suffering with a sense of anger and indignation that's bubbling up, Use that breath and it will bring the energy for head and that heat coming up and bring a coolness and a sense of calm and the energy coming down. So if you've been sitting at the desk all day, um, I'm going to invite you to come into a pose called Anahata. So keeping your bottom above your knees. Take hold of your elbows, walk your elbows forwards Bring your forehead to the mat. Take your arms straight. Breathe in. And as you exhale, purse your lips and blow. Chair sinks down towards the floor. Now, if you have a neck issue, please keep your elbows bent and that will protect your neck. If you have no neck issue, then come right down as low as you can. And we hold this for about three minutes. So let's not, I'm not going to spend three minutes here while you just watch me, but let's just do a few more breaths and you can feel how we work into this pose. So all the muscles relax. Breathe in. Purse the lips and sink. So this is about allowing. It's not about pushing. It's about descending softening, allowing. So this is a very different style of yoga. It's called yin yoga, and it's the feminine, calming, inward, soothing, quietening form of yoga. Breathing in and soft tree, blowing out. Sinking the body down. Allowing. So we're gonna hold that for five minutes, but not today. 
Um, walk your hands back and sit back on your heels. This is a beautiful opener for the, any shoulders that have been working all day. They are tight. We've held them in, in tightness as we're bracing ourselves and supping ourselves. So that's a really nice one to use for the shoulders. Um, let's also do one now for the back. Let me just check on the time. Yeah, I think I've got time for one more. Obviously, we could also come into child pose. You'll be familiar with that. So forehead to the floor, hands by the feet. Another, because it's a forward bend, it's a very cooling, calming. Um, it's going back to our memory of safety within the womb. Very, very powerful pose. Um, but what I wanted to do was show you my favorite posture that I, when I had young kids and I was struggling to work at the same time, I would do this regularly. And it requires a chair. And if you're not menstruating, then a couple of cushions. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the feet up on the chair. So sit on the edge of your mat, right by the leg. So your hip is touching the leg of the chair. Swing up. And if you are straightening, we keep your pelvis level with your heart. And that is enough. If you're not menstruating, then you get hold of cushions and you place them underneath your pelvis. This picture is known as Viparita Karani. So I just stay here. Even five minutes has a massive effect. So the blood from your feet and legs, the blood from your pelvis comes to your heart. And your heart being a control system controlled by the brain, the heart goes, oh, wow, I've got so much blood. I don't need to pump so hard. I don't need to pump so fast. And so the entire control system um, has a well, relay of switches which tell the body, oh, I'm in relaxation mode. My heart rate is slowing down. My blood pressure is lowering. So the whole body accelerates into the rest and restore mode. The adrenaline and cortisol is switched off. But it's more than that. The organs of the belly are now hanging downwards. So the womb and all of this area now have space. And the blood and energy can move through the groin and these lymph nodes in the groin more easily. But that's not the whole story either, because the belly is open and we can breathe easily into the diaphragm, into the, um, the massaging effects, into the upper abdominal organs. We call this um, of late, people talk about the stimulus of the vagus nerve, which is part of the parasympathetic nervous system and has more signals to the brain than from the brain. It is part of the rest and restore part of the body. And then, of course, lastly, the real benefit you might say is that more blood comes to the face and our skin becomes wrinkle free and radiant. <laughs> anyway, that's a story for another day. So to come out, we lift the hips up, we roll onto our side and push to sit up. 